Welcome to the Sports Card Talk Show. To the Sports Card Talk the Show. Sports Card Talk Show with Kevin Anderson and Lauren Walker, the, the Skull Brothers. Brothers. Welcome to episode 140 of the Sports Card Talk Show. Uh, we have Wednesday Wows today. Yep, this uh, week I am doing the People's Champion, good old uh, Jimmy Klein saucer. <laughs> nice, that'll be a good one. I'm rocking my uh, hockey hockey sweater from the uh, from the University of North Dakota because that's where uh, Jimmy Jimmy played his football. Uh, I'm uh, North Dakota proud. <laughs> I was raised in North Dakota, and my my allegiances go both to the to the um, University of North Dakota and the Fighting Hawks and to the Bison. So, <laughs> cool. Should we uh, knock out a little trivia? Yeah. All okay. right. So, in 1972, what Twins Hall of Famer became the first ML beer since 1918 to lead the league in batting average with zero home runs? It's got to be uh, Rod Carew. Yep. In 1998, what Texas businessman became the sole owner of the Vikings? Red McCombs. Yep. Nice. In 1992, what Twins closer broke Raleigh Fingers' MLB record of 341 career saves? I'm going to say 1992? Yep. Huh. Oh my goodness. Hmm. It can't be no. It is You had something in your tip of your tongue there. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say Jeff Reardon, but that's he was it. really yep. Hmm. What head coach led the Vikings to back to back NFC North Division titles in two thousand eight and two thousand nine? I say that one more time. What head coach led the Vikings to back-to-back -back NFC North Division titles okay. in 2008 and 2009? Brad Childress. Yep. Oh, that must have been like a one. <laughs> it was a two. A lot better than that seven last year. <laughs> the seven was brutal. You made up for it, though. Oof. <laughs> All right, man, let's get at it. I couldn't even – Um, that Jeff Reardon question was so tough that I – uh, I – um. Yeah, I was, uh, <laughs> I couldn't even, like, my brain was so wrapped around that one still, even after I got it right, that I couldn't even, like, hear what you said for that last question. <laughs> right. All right, what we got first? Uh, to, to, so today we're doing, um, shoot, he was a rookie, I believe, in 99 it was the year. So this is, um, it's Pacific Revolution, and I think, you know, you see that a lot in the basketball cards, right? They're still making revolution for basketball, right? Yep. And that's just a super sharp, sh sharp card of him in uh, Senior Bowl, a uni. Yeah. That's cool. And that's just, I think, a, like a base card, too. Oh, no. It's numbered 41 out of 99. I didn't even realize that was a serial number <laughs> card. Nice. Uh, this next one is uh, SP. And this one's numbered out of 250, number 139 out of 250. I don't believe any of these are going to be eBay 101s. Not today, huh? No, no. This is probably, uh, I don't know. I, I, Jimmy's got a really cool signature. It's just real short. Oh, yeah. But, he, but it's definitely his sig. And that's from Collector's Edge, and I don't know what if it's called titanium or it doesn't matter that yeah, much. But we'll uh, that. and then this one I like better because again he's in his North Dakota uni on that one. And that's <laughs> yeah. from Sage. Oh yeah. I don't really like that the silver sticker, but um Love the worse. love love seeing North Dakota represented on a card. Right. And now I would really wish they'd come back with some of these super cool die cuts that uh, Playoff was making back in the day. This one's called X's. It, it was called like X's and O's, but this is X's. Oh, nice. and that's numbered out of three hundred. That's. Cool. I actually kind of like that one better than the next two, but just barely. 
That is awesome. But that one's uh that one's not as short a print as these two. This was uh another one from Playoff. That's cool looking. And um that one's numbered out of two hundred. It really jumps off in the late. I don't know if you saw and, that. Yeah, I did. And this one is the same card that I that we just showed, but this one's numbered out of one hundred. So nice. Yeah. Yeah, I could have bought a whole lot of these, like about ten. Uh -huh. I told the guy these never list on eBay. I I really like them. We were like texting back and forth. And then he goes and lists them for eBay and he sold them for a lot more than I wanted. Like they <laughs> definitely went for this is Fleer Focus auto. And I like that one. It is. It's nice. I was just laughing because <laughs> it was one of those things where you could wish you could have back. These never list. <laughs> I know. If I wanted to told him that he, he had literally went and listed them. Like I sh they show up in my Jimmy Kleinsasser feeds, and I'm like, wait a minute. And I'm like, you son of a gun, you <laughs> that's a contenders. Oh, nice. I'm back to nice, Ian. I'm sorry, man. It is pretty sharp, though. I like that. And this is a score. And this is my favorite one. It's favorite. Uh, it's just so colorful and shiny. And he's yeah. in his North Dakota helmet and senior ball. That is cool looking. Yeah, I just really. And you, you rarely see those, but I've managed to get a couple of those. So <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Short one today, huh? Yeah, yeah. There's not a lot of Jimmy Klein saucer cards out there. Um, and when they list, they the really hard to find ones go for good good amount of money. So I bet, I bet. And a lot of people are Jimmy who? You know, <laughs> the younger Jenner. Who's that guy? But a lot of people Strong that following, though. a lot of people that watch football back in the in the ninety, you know, since the two early 2000s know that Jimmy was just uh he's one of those unsung heroes on the team that you know did did a lot of dirty work so oh yeah caught yeah. a few balls but mostly was you know an H back and and would uh play it as a fullback and a tight end kind of blocking guy for some really good Viking running backs awesome well, that was a quick one today man yeah it's gonna bring episode 140 Wednesday while it's to a close Skull Brothers out <laughs>